Hello and welcome to the first episode of Newman University's very own late night talk show, Newman Night Live, hosted by your favorite college kids, me, Mike Chevarelli, and Aaron Martz, who we, who we will see in just a bit. We're honestly so stoked to get this thing going. It, it, we're going to be showing you a lot of great things uh, here on Newman Night Live, and that includes everything Newman embodies and represents, which is, includes, but not limited to, our gifted students, staff, professional and collegiate sports, showcasing talents, passions, game shows, music, weird and entertaining news. The list go, goes on, you name it, we have it. There's something for everyone here on Newman Night Live. Nothing but a great time, to say the least. And speaking of a great time, Philadelphians are celebrating something that doesn't come, ar come around too often. I thought this day would never come, to be quite honest. But the Eagles are headed back to the frickin' Super Bowl, baby. For the first time in 14 years, I am so pumped for this. And it's, it's, they did it with Prince Harry at quarterback. That's right. MVP quarterback Prince Harry, a.k.a. Carson Wentz. They did it with him for the first half of the season. And then, what do you know, he gets hurt. And here comes Napoleon Dynamite a.k.a. Nick Foles, the tater tot-loving dingus look-alike. I mean, look at that. It's uncanny. I love, I love both of the quarterbacks, by the way. Not to diss them. They are both great quarterbacks, but, I mean, you got to admit, they are just – it's spot on. But in all seriousness, this team and the fans have certainly been through a roller coaster ride of a season with injuries left and right and having to rely on the next man ne, – uh, excuse me, next man up. But you know what? This team did not lose its confidence. In fact, the team gained confidence and rallied behind one another to pull this miracle season. However, our city seems to be quite underwhelmed and unfazed at this team's success. <laughs> yes! Yes, Eagles fans, the most hated yet most passionate fans in the world. Eagles fans have always seemed to have this bad reputation ever since Santa was pegged with snowballs. But you know what? This stereotype of the Eagles fans drives me absolutely bonkers. I don't think people realize how passionate of a fan base we are. And we mean well, even though some of our antics may get out of hand. And... It's really something that needs to stop. It needs to go away. People need to know we love our team and we will go by any cost to show our love of the football team. And here's what a few uh, people have to say about Eagles fans. <laughs> the Philadelphia Eagles will face the New England Patriots in this year's Super Bowl, making it the first Super Bowl where the fans have even worse brain damage than the players. <laughs> Go Giants. Philly will be psyched if they win. Philly will be psyched if they win. You know, it's not. Uh, listen, I love Philly. Philly's going to be psyched. Philly owns it. Philly fans, though. Ooh. Wish y'all get a ring. Ooh. You know the two. Yo, they, listen, you know you already know. You a clip full of tweets from me already. Right? Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Listen, Philly will probably have to declare a state of emergency if they win a Super Bowl. Yes. Because there's going to be greasy poles everywhere. <laughs> going to be on fire. They're going like, to crash a trolley into a river. I don't understand how that's possible with yeah. that. <laughs> Somebody's going to hijack the train. It's going to be wild. You think the city will just go nuts if they... They'll go be... nuts, and then 10 years later, it'll be a Denzel movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know See, these people don't understand Philly whatsoever. They just do not. You don't come here and dress up the Rocky statue and do your little chants in front of the art museum. You don't do that. You should have prior knowledge of this before coming to Philly to not do that because you know you should know we we're gonna get aggravated. You should know that. Ugh, I gotta send this over to Aaron with entertainment before I have a stroke. Aaron, take it away. The 
60th Grammy Awards were held in New York City last Sunday, hosted by Late Late Show host James Corden. Bruno Mars came home the big winner with six Grammys, including Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Song of the Year. Rapper Kendrick Lamar was close behind with five Grammys, and far behind them was Jay-Z. Too soon? Jay-Z arrived at the show with a total of nine nominations and lost in every one of them. Alessia Cara won Best New Artist, and Chris Stapleton won Best Country Song. It was a big night for performances, including Kesha's powerful performance of Praying and Bruno Mars' Party B's newest hit, Finesse. Noticeably missing from the award show was winner Ed Sheeran. After beating out Kelly Clarkson, Kesha, Pink, and Lady Gaga for Best Pop Solo Performance, the Shape of You singer got booed by the crowd. Now that category made the field with great artists, but I think that was a well-respected win. Unlike the song Despacito, which went home zero awards, and Think what you want, but I believe that was the song of the year. Well, that's all I have in entertainment. I'm Mara Martz for Newman Night Live. So to play off of those videos uh, about Eagles fans, uh, we actually have some fans in here tonight, and none are better than the lovely sister Linda Patrick McKenzie and Patrick Morgan. Guys, welcome to Newman Night Live. It's awesome. nice to have you guys on. Thank you for having us. We're happy to be here. It's, it's great to be here. I see your Eagles gear. It's awesome. I love the green. How, love the how excited are we? We are excited. Pretty, Anybody has tickets. Excited. We don't have ours yet. So bring them coming. We're bring ready. Them. We'll take them. <laughs> we'll take, take them. all your tickets and flights. And yes, has to and include so we flights. we got to get there. So it's expensive. We'll take care of the hotel. Well, the Eagle can fly. So, so I heard a rumor. Now, I don't believe rumors that often, I, you know. But I heard someone took a TV, 55-inch TV, from our TV studio. And, now, who was and they, that? I don't know. I heard it was... Sister, was, do you know anything about it? Did I, you hear that story? I might, but it could be a rumor. Okay. I heard they were all watching the Eagles game last week versus the Vikings on yes. that television. Yes, they were. That's what brought good luck, and that's why the TV is staying right where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, and, you brought some friends with you, I heard? We have some friends, and we have some people who would, deep. Like, who would like to be friends. <laughs> okay. They're working on Maybe it. Maybe after the game? Maybe. Maybe. After, yes. Right. Right, right. Okay. Right. They're going to be with the winners. Uh. <laughs> Eagles fly on the road to victory. Fly, Eagles fly to the touchdown. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hit them low, hit them high, and watch our eagles fly. High eagles fly on the road to victory. E A G L E S Eagles. Woo! Woo! Go birds, go birds. Rolling deep. That was great. So, what are, what are we thinking? Score predictions. Well, who's who's going to be the big winner? Obviously. It's going to be the Eagles. It's going to be the Eagles. But what, what do you think? Final score? Well, let me ask you this. This could be an indication from God. How many Bible verses speak of the Eagles and the Patriots? Hmm. There are 33 Bible verses for the Eagle and zero for the Patriots. That you hear be, that? I think be. there's some Patriot fans out in the crowd, too. I hope, I hope they heard that. to a score. Are I don't know. predicting don't a shutout? I don't, don't want to predict. I don't that think sounds, it'll be a shutout. That's destiny right there. Yeah. That's I, destiny. It won't be a shutout. An eagle's but. egg. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was funny. Uh, that was so, so when, I want to ask you guys, when was the first time you realized that you were an Eagles fan? Because I think everyone has it. For, for me, yeah. personally, when, a few years back, 2010, Deshaun Jackson returns that punt, Miracle in the Met, at the Meadowlands, number two. I think that was the highlight of my Eagles fandom that said, okay, I love this team. Is, is, are there any moments like that ever in your, your family? I'll defer to you for a moment. I, I mean, my dad left the hospital to go watch the Eagles game when I was being born, so... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. That's a joke. That'd be really bad. 1992. Uh, the Eagles were playing the Saints in the playoffs. I was eight years old, sitting on my couch, watching them lose. It was crushing, but I mean that I was hooked from then on. Yeah, really? the whole family around. It was great. That's the awesome. playoff, that, and that was the, one, the first playoff mem memory that I remember. So, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Sister Linda, how about you? I have to admit, all through high school, St. Mary Goretti High School, as a matter of fact, 
I was a Phillies fan. I still am a great Phillies fan. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in those days, the Daily News, you'd have the, the photos of all the players, so I'd cut them out, put them on my locker room door. And then Randall Cunningham came around. Mm. Ah, yes. And I came around. Uh, Randall yes, Cunningham, yes, yeah. Yes. He, he, he was a fan. Right I, I right there, there, Randall there Cunningham you go. There, there, there we go. <laughs> Mr. Angel is out there also. Great the running girl. man, yep. number 12. It there is. he is. Yes. <laughs> is. That, that is awesome. That is awesome. Now, I, wanna, I have some comparisons here between the two rival. Wait. Do you hear that? That's a song. What's that from? The 1800s? Is that it's Beethoven? I think it's Beethoven. Is there a fight song? I think it's Beethoven. Is that a fight Tychos, song or a training Tychos, song? Tychos, it's Tychos, nap time, Tychos, I think. Tychos, I, I believe. So, <laughs> yeah. What what is this song? Is that is that the pi the Patriots fight song? 1812 overture, and that's the fight song for the Patriots. I missed the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, I, I I would like to know the uh, the singer of that <laughs> that song. That's. So, Sister Eileen. Um, yes. Why don't we just bring her up? Why don't we? Just, yeah. Why don't we just bring you up? Yeah. We need a Patriots fan yes. up here to uh, to make this less of a biased stage. Now, okay. So, obviously, the Patriots and the Eagles have uh, had a history in the Super Bowl. Two thousand four uh, was the last time these two teams met up. Yes. Fourteen years ago. Um, of course, the Patriots, they won the game. Oh, yes, they, they stole, stole it. They, they yeah, cheated they their cheated. way yeah, yeah. to another victory. I don't want to you know, yes. be that judgmental. And they won 24 to 21. And, but this year, I think things are going to be different. I think the Eagles are going to be ready for Tom Brady and their offense. I think it's going to be a good game. But I, think, I still think the Eagles are going to come out on top. And we'll see. So we'll see, right? <laughs> so, so, Sister Eileen, I want to ask you. Charlene, is the Brady Bunch on reruns? <laughs> oh, boy. Or is that really a show? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, I, don't, I don't want any uh, tensions are high. Yeah, that's why Patrick fan had to come between. I don't want, I don't want <laughs> to see you guys going down Broad Street right now yeah. and uh, throwing uh, beer cans at buses or anything. Yeah, so, like what happened? Sister Eileen so has? We usually drink them before she we She has. Drink. Okay, we Sister Eileen actually has something with her. What is this? This is a comparison of the Super Bowl rivals. Okay. Food. The New England Patriots. Clam chowder. Philadelphia. Cheese, cheese steaks. Cheese steaks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers Cheers. And cheese steaks. For uh, the movie, Goodwill Hunting. That's pretty good. I think they're still hunting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Eagles. Oh, no, this one really made me laugh. TGIF shows, mm. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> no good. <laughs> Great show. Great show. <laughs> As opposed, opposed to Boy Meets, Meets World. World. Even better show. Oh. Even Next better. place in Roxborough. Great show. Okay. For the bands, the New Kings on the Block. New Kids on the Block. They had a bunch of hits. Yeah, they're still kids. We have Boys <laughs> Boys to Men. Yeah. 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 Okay. For the actors, we have Ben Affleck. He is Batman. Affleck, Affleck. <laughs> uh, then there's Brady Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Bradley Bradley. Of course. Bradley. 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 He's a dreamboat. <laughs> How about this one, though? Shows. Cheers. Where everybody knows your name. Uh, Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that still on but TV? But they still need to talk to you. It's on Netflix. It's on but we all know that it's Always, always Sunny, sunny in, in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That's right. Yeah. 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 Now we have a very, very famous historic attraction, the Freedom Hall in Boston. Mm -hmm. Well, we ring loud and clear. That's the Liberty Bell. Bell. That's right. There you go. Where America all started, by the way, Philadelphia, this yeah, great city. I'll give you that. <laughs> the stadium is the Gillette Stadium. Mm -hmm. Razors. <laughs> 
Well, they're not going to be razor sharp at this Super Bowl. Oh. <laughs> we have the Lincoln Financial. Oh, yeah. 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 Our money, our business. Our business. Yeah. Yeah. The players are going to come out and link hands, and they're going to just as a oh. chain wrap around. Uh, I love it. I love it. So, Sister Eileen, I want to get your score prediction. Or what you think the final score would be? Patriots thirty-three, Eagles zero. Whoa! Oh! That Perfect. is a bold Throw statement. She went, she went biblical but you know what? Too. I respect this, Sister Eileen. I really do respect it a lot. And you're, are you from the Boston uh, area? Say I'm from the great state of Massachusetts. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I give her a reason to be a fan, man. Because there's some, right. with all the success around the Patriots over the years. But it does prove the point of what we were saying earlier about the Patriots. And it's, I'm, I'm not one of them, but the rumor has it that they cheat. She heard my answer earlier. <laughs> False news. False news. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I don't know where she got her answer from, but... I think it was a little twisted. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of scenarios out there where they've been caught red-handed. Yes. With with cheating, the Deflate Gate most recently. You know, I know. I have to get Don't let the air out of this whole thing. I think she has a red feather in her hand at the moment. Is that? I think you have some red in your hand. I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, that's sketchy. Those are notes. That's uh, we're we're gonna disregard that actually. Yeah. But um. We may be small in number today, but we're mighty. Go Patriots. Nah, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. <laughs> nope, nope, not here. Not on my set, Sister Eileen. So I want to hear about this wager. I hear there's kind yes. of a, a bet between <laughs> the sisters yes. in Philadelphia. If, what? if the Patriots should win, we will buy the Patriots sisters here this evening, Boston Market, right now they're Philly Market. Philly Market. A yeah. Boston Market <laughs> gift cards. Oh, mm. nice. When the Eagles win, we will let them know our favorite tasty cakes. <laughs> oh. And then we will expect some tasty cakes from them. That yeah, is nice. good. You That's know what? Good. I can't say my... I've never had Boston Market, so I can't attest to I how good it is. It's still in business, so... For now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> That's a plus. Yes, for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sister Marie Catherine and Sister St. Joseph and I agree to that wager. Thank you. Mm. And oh. Sister Claire and Sister Angela and Sister Jeannie and Sister Mary Beth and I Agreed to the wager. Mm. Okay, awesome, Patrick. Awesome. What about you? We do. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> 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 Patrick's out of this. Yeah. We're all friends. We're all friends. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say. Well, I just, I just, I want to thank you, ladies, so much you, for coming onto the show and repping thank both you of your respective teams. And I, I wish both of you the best of luck yes. with your wager and the best of luck for your teams. I really thank do. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We've enjoyed this. Thanks to all the fans that are here. Thank you. Again, thank you for the sisters coming on to the show. Um, but now we want to get into something a little more crazier than Eagles fans, Aaron. If it's possible. If it's possible. But it is. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I bring to you Florida Man. So just to give you a quick rundown of what Florida Man is, it's basically just Florida people, usually men, uh, going crazy, doing crazy things, even crazier than chucking beer bottles at buses and lighting things on fire in Center City, Philadelphia. So number one, okay. uh, a Florida man bites off his neighbor's ear because he wouldn't give him a cigarette. I don't know why we didn't think about that. Well, I mean, why didn't we do that first? Right. I, that, I, I mean, I don't smoke, but... I mean, it uh, seems completely rational to me, though. Like, I would I, probably I bite off someone's. Like, yeah, if I were, if I were to be a user of uh, tobacco, a tobacco, yes, yes, I would, I would bite off someone's ear. Hey, Aaron, can you give me a cigarette? No, I'm taking a chomp out of you. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know if I would want like the ear. Oh, I another mean, extremity, like, like maybe a finger like a finger, or you know? maybe the nose too. That's kind yeah, of we'll my see. nose. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, what else do you have though? Uh, yes, a Florida man attempts to leave a store with a chainsaw stuffed down his pants. Talent. It sounds like it, it would really hurt. Sharp. Yeah, I. If you can succeed, I mean that's good for you. You deserve the chainsaw after that, you know. Yeah, I don't know, Aaron. Coming from a guy's perspective, though, I. I don't think it matters. I think it's. I think it's equally as painful. And and terrifying. I. 
No, yeah, it's, I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm, okay. I'm getting, okay. okay. Let's move on, move on. What else do you have? And finally, a Florida man was arrested for drunk driving after he woke up behind the wheel at a bank drive through uh, The man mistakenly thought the bank was a Taco Bell. And he alerted the tellers uh, that there was something wrong when he asked them for a burrito. I uh, mean, I can see the confusion because, you know, the bank hands out lollipops sometimes if you go through the drive through Yes. So, I mean, it's 2018. Oh, you know what? They got to upgrade from the lollipops and dog treats. I think they should start hanging out burritos. So I <laughs> think this guy is actually on to something. Every time, oh, you, you know what? I like that. Every time you Thank open you. up an account, Yes. In that bank, you yes. get a free burrito. Yes. Pfft, genius. I'm Top dropping out bank. of college right now. Let's do it. Yes. We're doing it. Yes. We're doing it. We're going to move to Florida because that's, <laughs> that's all weird in Florida. Yeah, it's weird in Florida for sure. Yes. And that's all we have for that weird state of Florida. Uh, thank you for tuning in for this segment. We want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to Newman, Li no, excuse me, Newman Night Live. Uh, our very first show, of course, very first and show. we're we're excited, like we said, to really roll with this thing uh, this semester. It's going to be a yeah. lot of fun, Aaron. I'm very excited, and thank you to the sisters and Patrick McKenzie and our crew. It was a great first show. Thank you for having us. Well, right. yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah. honestly, <laughs> <We're> the... <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, join us next week. Okay. Yeah, join us next week. Have a great Newman night. Uh. -uh. No. no, you don't like. No, we need a new ending. Newman. I don't like that. Newman you get it's it though, too like. Cheesy. Yeah, it's too cheesy. Because like we're the Newman Knights, no. and it's what do like you think it should be? They're they're not going to answer us. I don't. Okay. Good night. Good night, everyone. Have a good night.